Madden Football is the home of Super Bowl 57. And this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Dolphins and the Eagles coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. We can't have the kick and it should be an epic one here. As it'll be the AFC champion, Miami Dolphins, taking on the NFC champions, the Philadelphia Eagles. Brandon Gunn here with Charles Davis. And for the Dolphins, what a turnaround under first-year head coach Mike McDaniel. I mean, this is a franchise that had not won a playoff game since the year 2000. But wow, I mean, they're AFC champions. Give them a big amount of credit for getting here. And how about this franchise in total? They have won the Super Bowl twice. But those were Super Bowl 7 and 8 in 1973-74. They are so excited to be back in the big game. Meanwhile, it took until Super Bowl 52 for the Eagles to lift the Lombardi Trophy for the first time. And not too many players are left from that squad five years ago. But this new group is looking to write a new chapter of Eagles lore. Yeah, we certainly all remember that performance in the win over New England. Nick Foles throwing for 373 yards, catching the Philly special that will go down as one of the most iconic play calls in Super Bowl history. Now they're back and looking to make it two titles in six years. The hype and the talk is over. We're set for the big one. Super Bowl 57. Away we go from Arizona. And we will not have a return, so the first drive of this Super Bowl will begin at the 25. The Dolphins take the field with Tua Tungavailoa, their quarterback from Alabama at the helm. And no doubt he's living out a dream right now. He's had dating back to his first days of playing football as a kid. But he certainly can't get lost in the moment right now. There's still a Super Bowl to be played. And his offense, they're looking to him to be their leader. You can take it all in when it's over. Right now, you've got the biggest game of your life to win. On the ground, the drive starts with Wilson. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. At well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to that and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. An early test. Two plays in. This is third and two. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. Got a man. It's Waddle complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard gain there on third and two. They'll run straight ahead with Wilson. And slow going there as he'll only get a yard, maybe, up to the 41. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. They'll run again with Wilson. Pushes him over. And it's a room to maneuver. And he is finally taken down, but not before he gets it to the Eagles. 18. 46 yards rushing for him now on their opening drive of the Super Bowl. Well, that is a running back who is not about to go down easily. He fought his way through the contact until the seas opened up for him. Yeah, this could be a sign of what this defense is in for because you know all week long the coaches were preaching to the defense. You've got to be able to wrap up against a back like him or he can make you pay. Technique, technique, technique. And you can see the distance traveled there after the initial contact on the next-gen stats. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Now they'll hand it off to Wilson. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Now they'll throw with Tungamailoa. That is caught by Waddle. Touchdown, Miami. Jalen Waddle, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Dolphins are on the board first here in this Super Bowl. And I'm sure for these guys, the break from the conference championship in the Super Bowl seems so long. To get out here and score that first touchdown has to take some tension out of the game. Oh, I love the point you just made about the gap between. Think about the pressure that is built in the interim to come out and get the first points in the Super Bowl. Fantastic for the team. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And it's now a 7-0 game. 
fielded just outside the goal line. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Philly's offense getting ready, and Jalen Hurts ready to lead them. The second-round pick who started his career at Alabama then finished with an electric senior season at Oklahoma. As we begin the Super Bowl, we're looking at one of the game's most important players. And whether he's the centerpiece of the offense or taking a backseat to his teammates, offenses always look to the quarterback to be a leader in moments like this. He's got to be that calm, composed pillar out there who stays level-headed and keeps everyone focused on the task at hand. Hurts throw complete there to Smith. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. He was a thousand yard receiver during the regular season, and that's his first catch in the Super Bowl, and he picks up the first down. Miles Sanders, first carry of the game. And down to the 44, five yards that time. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. Hurts. And time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football, and he's taken down. It'll go in the books as a sack and a loss of a yard, but more importantly, it leads to fourth down. I thought there at the end he may have had a chance to release that, but that pocket closed a little too quickly, and down he went. Yeah, he was certainly trying to do everything he could to extend the life of the play, probably counting in his head. One, two, and then he ran out of time. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. So Miami coming out for their second drive. They've got a 7 0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. They'll start the drive with Wilson. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Another carry for Wilson. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. 67 yards rushing for him now as he has gotten the night off to a hot start. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's Tonga Vailoa to throw. Completes it to the tight end, Smythe. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 12 more yards there and another first down. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. As long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop it right around the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. They have three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. On play action, here's Tua. It's caught inside the 25. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. Last play, they didn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. Now they gain almost 40 yards here. Well, after the standard two-week layoff, you always wonder how's your offense going to respond and come out and play here in the Super Bowl. Well, they got a great answer right there and almost a sigh of relief on that side of the field because now they've got to feel like they can use their entire playbook and game plan for this one. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And a quick throw here, that's complete. So give them five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it's second down. Throwing again on second down. Tua forced out to his left. And that will be incomplete. They couldn't hook up on what's going to be the final play of this first quarter. One quarter done, three more to play. And we are back and ready to go for the second quarter of the Super Bowl. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis, as always, thrilled to be with you. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. Give the 
sack to Fletcher Cox. They've been moving the ball well offensively, really getting into a groove. Last play, pass completion. Now, finally, the defense gets there. And you have to find a way to disrupt their rhythm. Do you do it with coverage, or do you do it with pressure? They elected to go with pressure, and it was the right call. So fourth down, two and departs, and on is Jason Sanders and the Dolphin field goal unit. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. Sanders' kick is good, and the Dolphins will add on to their lead. So another scoring drive there, Charles, and an early two-score lead. You'd like the six there, partner, but you'll take the three, and I think they have to be happy about the way they moved the ball in these first two drives. They have to feel good about their opportunities the rest of the game. Fields it right around the goal line. Oh, a good return up past the 30. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. Nothing for them yet from an offensive standpoint. Down 10 zip as they come up first and 10. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. Another run with Sanders. And a 42-yard line here and brought down there. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Christian Wilkins able to get him for a loss of about three. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. But he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. His second catch of the Super Bowl, and it's good enough for a first down. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And that okay, plays it to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. On first and ten, it's Sanders. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. From the gun, it's Hurts. No, bottled up, fumble. It's out, it's loose. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. Touchdown, Philadelphia! Chris Watkins, 38 yards, and the Eagles are on the board. Super Bowl. So the quarterback drops to throw, looks over, and boom, a guy that wide open, he has to be thinking, wait a minute, this is some kind of a dream. This is too easy. Yeah, a great dream. One you don't want to wake up from, but for the defense, almost feels like there was a bust in coverage. The call from Nick Sirianni. Let's go for two here, he says. Hurts will throw. And he's got it. They convert for two, and that gets him even closer. Now a two-point game. And around the goal line, especially on two-point tries, sometimes the QB's best friend is that big target to tie in. I love how you described it, because you know he's going to have some length and some catch radius, as well as a big body to keep people away from the football. Igbenogany elects not to return, and the football will come out to the 25-yard line. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But you also have to remember, they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Now left side on the swing pass. So the screen good for only two. Now it's third down. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. And the defense coming through on third. 
third down, a loss of seven to bring up four. He was still looking through his progressions and going through his receiver options, and while he was doing that, the defense got to him quickly in the pocket. And it was a great example of zone coverage, well executed, well coordinated. All the receivers were covered, and he couldn't evade the rush back in the pocket. A 46-yard punt, eight yards on the return. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. Hurt sets up to throw it. This is Smith with a grab. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Play action. Here's Hertz. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. A reminder coming up at intermission, we'll get highlights of this Super Bowl from Jonathan Coachman and the crew in Orlando for our EA Sports halftime report. Four yards the pick up, first down. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. They made a nice effort to stick it with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. First down now, but the clock continues to move. And once again, this is Sanders. Now this play gets blown up. They'll lose yardage back at the 17. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. And the red zone precision is the watchword. If the throw's a little too early, too late, maybe off a little bit, going to be a good chance at any attempt is going to be a contested one, and that one falls incomplete. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. So Hurts is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. The kick by Elliott is good, and they jump out in front here. It's 11 to 10. Well, the drive ends in just three, but they'll take it. Looks like they'll head to the locker room barring something unfortunate in front on the scoreboard. Yeah, they may not be jumping up and down and celebrating because they have the lead, but still, any little momentum in a game like this is important to a team, and they'll feel real good about going in and regrouping, knowing that they are out in front. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee, and they'll bring the football out to the 25. But just 18 seconds remain till halftime as they come up on first and 10. Well, they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. So we've reached halftime here in the Super Bowl. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight as we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment. With that, let's get a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for Miami. And they were able to have a little bit of success on the ground. The question will be, will they stick with it? Or will they be throwing more to try and regain this lead? Meanwhile, for the Eagles, they did even less on the ground as they've struggled to get the run game going. Both teams with some extra time to prepare during this long halftime break but we're about ready to restart the second half of Super Bowl 57. So let's get back out to Arizona and Brandon God. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked out officially at the 21. And the Eagles ready to go on offense to begin this third quarter. 
And I think you'd have to say their coaching staff, all things considered, had to be pleased with their performance in the first half of this Super Bowl. Definitely pleased, doing their best not to show it to their team, of course, because as you and I both know, their mantra all season long has been finish. Get the job done. They know how close they are to lifting that trophy. One more solid half of football, and they can do exactly that. Second down, here's Hurts. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's Hurts to throw. He finds his tight end, Goddard. That's complete. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. He's going deep for Brown. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Out of the gun now on third down. Over the middle to Smith. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So now first and ten as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 48-yard line. Throwing his hurts. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. Jalen Phillips, the former first-rounder, getting in there for the sack. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Another try after the first down sack. Hurts. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. Ninth play of the drive coming up, and certainly not an easy one on third and long. Looking to throw. Oh, and Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. Channing Timber coming in to drop it for a loss of eight, and it also brings up fourth. Well, the number one mission of any offensive line, you got to protect that quarterback, keep him safe back there. This time, the rush got to him in a hurry. Yeah, that's one where you turn to your lineman and say, uh, guys, can I get a little help here? And you have to ask politely, because remember, they're blocking for you the entire game. But as a quarterback, you've also got to have the clock running in your head when you need to get rid of the football. But this time, he had no chance. They were on him instantly. And as we check the next-gen stats, that play lasted just 2.7 seconds from beginning to end. There's not enough time to throw the football. Two and the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at their own 23. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. He's got a man complete. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Tyreek Hill. 77 yards, and the Dolphins have regained the lead in the second half of this Super Bowl. Well, they got the ball to start the third quarter, looking to take the lead, and they did so in a hurry. Yeah, they certainly did. Now, you and I both know teams that love those sustained drives, you know, those little body blows along the way. This team says, the heck with that. Why keep the ball longer than we need to? Let's go ahead and put it in the end zone and get to the bench and take a break. First play of the third quarter. Get ready. Could be an exciting second half. They'll try to run it here. And he will find the end zone here. And the lead moves up to seven. So they kept it on the ground, got it into the end zone. But Charles, sometimes you probably see teams treat the two-point conversion differently than if it was first and goal from the two. Or I should say third and goal from the two. I agree with you totally on that. A lot of teams... Now a hit and a loose football. And his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. As that ball got away from him, and he saw the opposing team recover it. You felt his pain? Oh, I felt his pain, and you know what was going through his head. Tuck it away. Mm. Take care of the ball. All the things he hears all week in practice, he didn't carry it over into the game. Here we go, set.
On first down, Tonga Bailoa. Throw left side, taken in by Hill. He's got some room to operate, and they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. Second down and three with right around three minutes remaining in the third quarter. Three's all around. Wilson fighting, but he won't get too far. Maybe a yard, that's all. Right down to the two. From the two now, second and goal. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he takes it into the end zone for the Dolphin touchdown. Alec Ingold taking it in from two yards out. And the Dolphins will extend their third quarter lead here in the Super Bowl. And when a smaller guy can't power it across the goal line, Charles, sometimes you need to go with the fullback. They did. It worked. What's that thing about force and mass? How's that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Force equals mass times acceleration. Oh, that's big time stuff. That's, that's from the same guy. The apple dropped on his head. Right? <laughs> Extra point up and good by Sanders. And a lead now up to 14. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it's culminated by a two yard touchdown run. Taken at about the one. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. Now they had a long drive going last time, but it stalled out. But still, maybe something positive to carry forward from that last drive. Well, a few different things that you carry forward. Number one, as you noted, they were moving it pretty well, so that gives them a lot of confidence. The second part is, keeps your defense off the field, gives them a chance to rest up a little bit. And last but not least... And the seven-yard line, the catch is made. Touchdown, Eagles! Chris Watkins, his second touchdown of the Super Bowl. And the Eagles are back within a score. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? You know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where'd you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listen to history class. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that in. <laughs> you know, I just grab a nugget when I can. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Igbenogany elects not to return it. The football will come out to the 25-yard line. Now we get Tyreek Hill and the rest of the Miami offense back out there. Good day for him so far here in the third quarter. He's hit pay dirt once, over 100 yards. But, hey, it's the third quarter. He's thinking, I want more, right? He wants more, and it just increases the confidence of his team because every play he makes, that means his quarterback is really feeling good about throwing the football. Five yards like he can't throw an incomplete pass when he throws it to him right now. Yeah, he's looked really, really sharp. Second down, this is Wilson. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Give. This is Wilson. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. On second and nine. Tua. And a completion to Wilson. So the screen good for only two. Now it's third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Here's Tua. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game, and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. 40 yards on the punt, two on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. On first and 10, it's Hurts. He's going to look deep for Watkins. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. 
crucial foul, roughing the passer deep in. Charles, they're trying to protect this lead late. Those are the types of mistakes they can afford to go without. About the last thing you want to give them is help in completing a comeback, which is exactly what that penalty does. Folks, welcome back to the biggest stage in sports, the Super Bowl, and now we get down to the good stuff, the fourth and final quarter. He's going deep for Brown. And incomplete on the deep ball. I think we're both wondering if we were going to see them try and push it deep downfield, facing a one-possession deficit late, and they certainly didn't disappoint. They gave it an effort. To throw on second and ten. Hurts. Quick slam here to Smith. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. Hurts finding Smith for the Philly first. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. And a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47-yard line. And they're going to speed things up here. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Really good effort. He does it himself, picks up 15, also picks up the first down. Up the middle they go with Sanders. And he'll snag about five yards down to the 32. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And a good-looking run there as he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18-yard line. 47 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Another try after the first down sack. Hurts. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. It's caught on the right side, it's Snell. And the Eagles are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just need the tip of the ball across the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. Looking to throw, Sanders. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. They'll look to throw again. He'll buy some time right. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Quez Watkins with his third touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Eagles are an extra point away from taking the lead in the fourth quarter of this Super Bowl. And this feels like something we'd see more commonly, CD, in a college game. They give it to the receiver down here in the red zone, but it winds up successful. Yeah, partner, I think you think it's less likely to find running space to the edge down here close to the end zone where things are so condensed. Times you end up focusing on the running backs and they're able to slip it to the receiver and it results in a touchdown. And this is caught. And they've got the lead here in the four. Could have been up one with a point after, but they go for two. And it works. It almost seems like they're trying to set an identity, doesn't it? We're going to be one of those teams that every time we get a chance to put extra points on the board, we will. Because really, it's minimal in difference, right? Whether you're up one or two, the field goal can still get you. Benogany elects not to return, and the football will come out to the 25-yard line. Miami's offense set and ready to go. And we're at the time of the Super Bowl where, look, they need points, and they need them badly. Trailing here in the fourth quarter as they begin this run. Now the ball comes loose, and it's picked up by the Eagles. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return and an Eagle touchdown. And what we just saw, very, very rare. We only had five of those in the 
the first 50 Super Bowls. The biggest stage, the biggest game, and we just saw it happen again. Extraordinary. The defense has been good, and they were good again there. So a big play for the Eagles now as they'll go for two. They'll try and throw for it. And he's got it. So the two-point conversion is good, and they add on to their fourth quarter lead. So they try to make it a two-score game with a conversion. It pays off. And they've looked at the situation, figured it out well. A two-score game in this situation, they've got to feel much better about where they are. Igbenogany elects not to return, and the football will come out to the 25-yard line. Dolphins offense returning to the field. And the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. Two is throw here, taken in by Gesicki. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. A good start there on this fourth quarter drive. They need more of what we just saw. Down a couple of scores. There's still time. All right, it's not like you know, they're totally out of it. But they have to score quickly. And they're going to need some big time plays, chunk plays, explosive plays. They need yardage on each snap. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. Two are going to throw. On target over the middle to Hill. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. From midfield, here's Tua. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Now a pass hauled in downfield. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 26. Tua. Sideline throw. It's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. It's a gain of nine yards. And that'll give him a short yardage situation here for second down. Tug of Iloa. It's Hill. Complete. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. First down now, but that clock rolling. Two and a throw. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. The Dolphins moving with a sense of urgency here. And that's dropped underneath for Wilson. And he takes this one into the end zone. And all of a sudden... Here in the final minute, things get a little bit tighter. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So still a small chance here with a little over 30 seconds to go, but they're definitely going to need this one to bounce their way. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a camper on this one. The fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside oh, kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Looks like he'll throw here. That is caught. It's the tight end Goddard. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. They'll run with Sanders. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. On second and goal, Hurts. And he's across for the late touchdown. And in the final seconds, that one should just 
to then put a capper on this game. And there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Point Jake Elliott. And his guys will take a 10 point lead. Just a four play drive that time. And the drive was all finished off on the touchdown catch by Dallas Goddard. Now, after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. And they're going to have really good starting field position here as that's taken up close to the 40. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. What do they need to do? Well, they have a thought process in mind already, but they can't get ahead of themselves. They know that they need to score quickly. Yeah, two score again. Onside kick and get the ball back and then score again. But they can't worry about the last two points. The only thing that matters is scoring quickly. Then they'll take it from there. One final try for Tonga Bailoa. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. And the Lombardi Trophy will rest in the city of brotherly love. The Philadelphia Eagles are the Super Bowl champs. And when this moment comes, I think you look back at all the blood, sweat, and tears, the offseason, the workouts, training camp, week one, two, three, all building up now to say you're a Super Bowl champion. It's worth it. It certainly is, and rarely do we have a team that hoists the Lombardi Trophy that didn't have their share of bumps along the way, didn't have to face some adversity in the journey, and now they get to just enjoy it and revel in it. And all offseason, they'll be signing their autographs with Super Bowl champion underneath it.